Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. What's up, said family? Welcome back to another vlog. And today, what are we doing? What are we doing, precious? What are we doing? Mommy and Zyra are just lying on the bed and we're playing. Right, Zyra? Right, Papa? Yes, princess. <laughs> She's been talking a lot lately, like little baby words. Can you do that again? Yeah, can you say something to them, Zyra? Can you say something? Can you say something? No, not yet. She gets camera shy, it's so funny. She just like pays attention to the camera and she looks at herself. Yeah, is that Zyra? That's Zyra. Wow. <laughs> so, um, I was literally just trying to take out some clothes from my closet and I hit my toe. I dropped the iron on my toe and now my toe is like bleeding really badly. Let me show you guys. Don't mind my toe. I haven't gotten a pedicure because, you know, there's a lockdown here, but. Okay, so this is how my toe looks right now. It's like bleeding like crazy. And there's like a blood clot over here already. And I feel like this is all gonna turn really. Good morning. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hmm? You put changing your clothes? Let me put one more arm through, okay? Hmm? I love you. I love you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 What are you doing, little princess? What are you doing, little princess? You look so cute. Did daddy dress you up today? Yes. Yes. Yes, and I've got to go to work now. And I really, really messed up. What? Really. Why? You know why. Because you look up late. <laughs> All right, I'm quickly headed off to the office. <clears throat> I don't think I can carry this girl down the stairs. So we're gonna call, who are we gonna call? We're gonna call Pupu Laiva, right? Are we gonna call Pupu Laiva to come take you downstairs? Cause I don't trust my toe. So Laiva helped me bring Zyra downstairs because I didn't want to risk um, taking her down with my broken toe it's not broken but it hurts so bad uh i'm icing it right now and this little one is having her milk and she's slowly learning how to hold her bottle right bubba right right and yeah i just got my fashion nova package i had to get new jeans after i had zyra my jean signs definitely changed i was like a size one or two um and now I'm like a size four, five. And I actually love that I'm a size bigger because I've always wanted a little more meat on me because I thought I was a little too skinny before. And now I feel like I'm the perfect size. And finally I have some like, you know, meat on my legs because my dad, my mom, it's like in our genetics that we're all really skinny. Um, and my mom and dad were skinny for the longest time, even after they got married. And my mom had kids like me, my sister. And then by the time she had the, her third baby, which was my sister Nadia, that's when my mom like kind of gained a little more weight. But um, thankfully, I've managed to keep on this weight. It's only been four months though. So I really hope I won't go back to the original weight that I had um, before because I was only 100 pounds. And now I'm like 125, which I find is like perfect 
for my height i'm like five six so it works out perfectly and yeah so i ordered a bunch of fashion nova jeans and i got size five in fashion nova because fashion nova jeans are super super tight and tiny um so you definitely have to size up with fashion nova jeans and i'll show you guys what jeans i picked up i got um let me just show you so i got these ripped jeans that i'm wearing right now from them and then i picked up these white bell bottom jeans because bell bottom is coming in back in style and then i got these skinny blue jeans obviously this this is something i can like wear with anything and everything and i got some um blue slightly bell bottom more like straight leg jeans and these ones are the same ones in white but um a darker color and bell bottom these are so so nice i tried on the white ones and i'm in love and then i also got just like a plain black skinny uh to wear every day and uh what else did i get oh yes and then i got this kind of nude color um bell bottom pants and they're really really cute like this is the top part for it and it just opens up and is like nice and long it's really cute and i also picked up some shirts over here i haven't opened them yet but um i'm gonna try them on and see how it goes i just came by in toronto to drop something to my mom she needed a bag of milk she wanted a couple of pieces of paper some forms my dad needed to fill out so just making a quick drop here and then i'm headed back right to the office Ta -ta. yeah Okay. So I'm gonna leave this bag here for them and I will take this because I need this. <laughs> uh, this TV is messed up. Like that's where it's gonna be mounted, which is totally not the center. Then we got Uzi Boozy visiting. What's up, guys? You're weighing out your chain? Let's see. Yeah, bro, 24 karat gold know, chain. I thought this chain was a lot heavier than it is. Dang. Yeah, your scale's broken, bro. You gonna say that on video? My jeweler scale is broken? It no. It can't be. Is this actually the scale? You don't have the caliber tools in the back. You can calibrate it. No, that's so much work, bro. No. <laughs> now we gotta check it. Because you said it's... Bro, it has to be off, bro. It's not off, bro. There's I thought no this way. was a hundred or something. Your, your chain is probably feel off. Feel this. That feels like a hundred. Wow. Plus. By the way, this is like a 24 karat gold chain. I usually don't recommend getting 24 gold. Yeah, I do not highly. I mean, you recommend it to your client not to no, do I, it. I, I told him not to do it. But yeah. He insisted. Like so. pure gold. Like it's so soft, but yeah. it's still cool. It's all handmade. I definitely recommend do not get a 24 karat what is anything this? unless it's extremely thick. Like ten, fifteen thousand dollar chain. Yeah, this is like ten, fifteen k. Crazy, like crazy. Yeah. Let's go check the calibration. Let's go check. Get out of here. Yeah. So bro. basically, daily we use these uh, calibrated weights to make sure our machines are what they are, and it's literally there. I mean, the only reason that, that part is a little bit less is because mm -hmm. I moved this machine. So put both of them. We'll see that uh, that's a thousand grams. I mean, thousand grams. They're never gonna weigh, but like we always take the higher amount. Um, 999.87 bro this is like 99.99 percent accurate even without calibration so we can calibrate this too so you are wrong Shit. <laughs> <laughs> calibrating it and it passes thousand grams that's how you introduce someone to someone what he goes like hey rage <laughs> this is my brother you know younger brother but <laughs> That's how you introduce someone to someone? Yeah, but bigger. <laughs> the guy's like, yeah. Because <laughs> oh he can't speak proper English, right? He's like, younger brother, but. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sitting there like. Both of us are. Right, bro, nice both of us you. are going like that. <laughs> yeah, and then big. the other guy got in on it too. He's like, uh. He's yeah. Like, yeah so you're younger, They're calling you brolic, okay? <laughs> you're calling you D. He called me brolic. You I said. He <laughs> said. <laughs> said. The chain we just showed you guys, we're melting it down, right? Yeah. So racks on racks. Racks on racks, right? So we got the money, it's deposit for a new chain. Yeah. The yeah. issue is when I picked up the chain from him, he was saying it's 130 grams. When I weighed the chain, it's about 88 grams. So there's like some kind of miscommunication there. So I need to let him know that the 9,000 he was thought he was getting from his chain, it's not there, it's actually 6,000. And then hopefully we can go through with the deposit and work on his new chain. Because honestly, that chain, I. I I feel like you needed a, a nicer chain. Different chain. Different yeah, chain. So, I mean, that's 
But this is a complication of explaining to people certain things, right? Uh, he wanted it gone either way. Yeah. So it's it's gone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so now we gotta um, explain to him the next steps of making the new chain. Yeah, and people also don't understand they lose gold once it's melted down. There's yeah. All kinds of stuff going on there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now you just gotta take that cash in. You're gonna make another chain. So once you give him a call, see what happens. Yeah, that's why I gotta give him a call, break the news to him. All right. Um, let him know he didn't get as much as he thought he would. Yeah, well, you know, that's that's part of the thing. It depends on when you buy it, when you're selling it, the labor involved in it. Exactly. Um, but these kind of small details will yeah. drive a customer away. So now that he might double think about purchasing right now, yeah. which inherently affects the sale. But let's, but it let's was, see. But it was an honest thing, right? It was like, you know. Like, oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. He said no matter what, he wants to change up. Yeah. So, so, I mean, all right. Anyway, yeah. regardless, I mean, we, we have the cash for the chain anyways, but uh, let's see what happens. So basically, I just got clarification. I was trying to figure out because we made the chain and yeah. we know the weight, yeah. but apparently the client basically brought back this chain, wanting to get a bigger chain, thinking that it was a higher weight than uh, than than what we invoiced. But exactly. like, so it's their mistake on what they're assuming that they're gonna get. Exactly. And so yeah. I was like, wait, wait, that's not making sense. But like, it's uh, no, yeah. So, he, so yeah. So he he forgot how much of weight he was under the assumption. Uh, He's had it for a while. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. under the assumption it's 130. People don't have just skills laying around. Yeah, so literally. Pass it on. Yeah. But it's actually eighty-seven. Damn. So yeah, yeah that's gonna be interesting. So there's a little bit of a difference there. So yeah, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna talk about it right now. Damn. Down. So we got six k out of the chain, um, and then I have seventy-four hundred here. So we're at thirteen five plus three, so like sixteen four, I think. Wait, let me do that math again. Yeah, so we're at 13.4. So, bro, if you want the chain for the 22nd deadline, then, bro, I need to start casting. So, you're good to go. So, 34K on the um, on the same Cuban link that we spoke about. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to lock you in, bro. And, uh, yeah, so there's no turning back from here. So, once we start casting, we're good to go. Okay. All right, man. So, I'll hit you back soon. Thank you. Just like that. That's my biggest sale ever, actually. What is it? Sixteen, seventy-four thousand dollars. Thirty-four k. Damn. Yeah, that's my big personal biggest sale. Like I. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like it's blowing my mind. Couldn't so have done it without time. Give me a hug, bro. Give me a hug. I, I guess maybe that he misconception. So you know okay, so somebody like there's different like finances is a different thing for everybody. You know, this kind of money would made a big difference to me. Yeah. This man, he he has a different financial stature, so it's yeah, not yeah. it's not enough for him to get worried. It's different cuz like I mean, when you're buying $100,000 watches, yeah, like to, I yeah, mean to, yeah, 30, to, he inquires about $100,000 watches. He yeah. owns about uh, $150,000 of watches total. Yeah. Like bro, here's my dream watch, the AP. Like, AP. I'm not going to lie. Well, we're going to have that so well, next have next year inshallah. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Sick. In jewelry, we always have an issue. So a Rolex is probably not an issue. It's an older model. Yeah, and it looks uh, like it. a client of ours dropped it off. He's got it as a gift, like years ago. Um, but he's like, first he wants to fix it. There's a couple of things broken on yeah. it, which we can repair. But he wants to know if it's real. So his Ooh. business partner, did he give him a real watch or not? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but right off the bat, one thing else is, bro, these older Rolex boxes. Like, yeah, they make my heart tingle, bro. Why? It's so much nicer. I don't like the the square, clean look that they do now. I like the leather. Yeah, it's that like they a give old, on the super, old super old box, right? Yeah, and some of them are like brown too. Yeah, the really old ones. But let's see this watch, bro. It's a beautiful watch. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. I, I, I the date just thirty six. Yeah, it's a smaller, smaller face. I'm not sure exactly. The date just thirty six. I've okay, looked at it properly. Check with the watches on the band. Oh, this is the the lock I don't like. And the lock is broken too. I the think. lock is broken. Yeah, we need to okay. fix that. Well, essentially, you see the band drop it drooping here. Yeah. Um, it like you wouldn't buy this watch. Um, it's too much. You think? I, I would lower? say like I would only buy this if I'm buying it to keep it. I wouldn't buy it to resell it, or yeah. I wouldn't give it to. You need to replace the band. Basically. Yeah, like this is that's bad. Yeah. That's really bad because the pins. The pins are bent. Mm. You can replace the pins, but that can be a pricey job. Yeah. Um, but other than that, beautiful nice watch, watch, bro. Yeah. That's a beautiful watch right there. Yeah. I can't wait till our private collection comes. Yeah, well, bro. When you get those, bro, Sama's, Sama's going in right now with the watches. We're all gonna go in on those. It's a nice. Thirty six isn't bad, bro. I was. Oh, I've been under the impression that thirty six is way too small. So now we gotta Not take it basically. To our uh, to our, our watch guys and uh, have them remove it. Yeah. So basically, yeah, they pop off the back and see if it's real or not. Yeah, they have to take apart the whole thing to da -da -da -da. see see what's happening. 
I almost put it in my bag. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I almost put it in my bag. All right, then I'll just take the cash. <laughs> All right, so we took apart the watch, and uh, the watch turns out to be fake. It is a fake watch, but we did end up doing the repairs that they wanted, and uh, gonna go about it that way. Um, a lot of times uh, this happens. I feel like people already assume because the price is too good to be true and uh, or it's a gift or something like that so you really want to be careful and deal with someone that knows you know what they're talking about and generally especially if we were to buy a watch like this definitely we'd take it apart and check it out um, there's no other way to really say so because the fakes nowadays are crazy and uh, really we got to look at the movements and mechanisms inside to see if it's made in china or switzerland or where, wherever it should be made right uh, so yeah a little bit of bad news for the client but uh, we did manage to repair the, the buckle and the bracelet for around a hundred dollars so that should be good it was uh it wasn't that expensive and uh, i was that close the deal so i'm trying to wrap up quickly because i gotta get home uh and um aside from that i have another chain to show you so hold on one second this beautiful hollow 10k yellow gold chain and it's a really really nice chain you can see the links so shiny and bright well made well made chain and usually chains that are like this thickness or lower are machine made and this particular chain is made in Italy so most of the chains that we deal with are Italian made chains unless uh, we you know we custom custom make them which is like a larger project but generally if you're dealing with like for example a chain that is this is probably four millimeters and if you're dealing with a chain that is around let's say 10 or 12 millimeters and it'd be completely custom made so i just wanted to show you guys how this chain looks this is a 24 inch chain uh men's or women's it doesn't matter it's uh it's gonna cost you about i would say around 800 dollars. depends on the price of gold that day that you purchase this on but this is what a 24 inch uh four millimeter rope chain looks like and this is hollow so it's about 12 13 grams something around there but yeah it's a really nice chain uh it's a chain that you can rock every day and uh, personally, I think it, it, it's a good look. So it's about 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm gonna make Zyra take her afternoon nap. And then I'm just gonna clean up this whole kitchen. Everything's kind of a mess right now. So quickly do that while she sleeps. Right, Bubba? Right? Are you gonna sleep long enough for me to clean? Can you please sleep long enough for me to clean? Yes. Yes, yes, cutie. <laughs> and Osama's at work. He's been coming back early, so it's been nice. He goes really early to work now, and he comes back by like 6 o'clock. Um, before it was like almost 8, and it was... By the time he got home, he was like super tired, so we didn't get enough time to like spend with each other, I guess, with Zyra and all of us, because we're I'm pooped by the end of the day, and so is he. So yeah, it's nice that he's coming back early. We are going to go and take a nice walk when he comes back. And Leba is going to make some really delicious pasta today. And I'm thinking of what I should make for uncle and auntie when they come back home. They're going to be out of quarantine um, soon. I think today is... Yeah, in a couple of days they're going to be out of quarantine. And they're going to be home and they can't wait to see Zyra and I want to make something really nice for them when they come home so I'm thinking should I make lamb shanks should I um make a green haram masalika salad I don't know so I'm gonna ask uncle and auntie what they want to eat and then I'll make them like a nice feast when they get back home it's nice to eat home food when you're back and they've been cooking for themselves since they've come to Canada I think Laiba also dropped off some food for them so I basically have been so busy with this little one right right so hopefully osama takes care of her so i can um cook that day it'll be fun